Uh, Jason Scott Flores, and I have no idea to be honest. Like Flores, it's it's a Greek Greek surname, but I'm not sure where Mum and Dad got Jason Scott from. I was actually born in Canberra on the 24th of November 1990. Uh, I lived in Canberra till I was 18, and then I made the move up to Queensland uh, to pursue my cricket. I uh, loved living in Canberra. I had a lot of really nice friends there and a lot of family there as well. Uh, my mum has always worked at Revlon. She's been a, a, ware, a warehouse assistant there. And my dad and my whole dad's side of the family uh, runs and operates a, an indoor sports centre. When I was in primary school, I actually had, no one actually remembers them, but uh, the Canberra Cannons. I had a teacher there who actually played with them, uh, Tad Dufelmeyer. He's probably my only real memory from primary school. Uh, I actually started playing soccer as well as cricket, and then I moved on to AFL and sort of gave that up and pursued cricket once I turned 15, 16. Most of my family is all based around Canberra. I've got a, a few sort of cousins that uh, live in Greece where my dad's from and I've got a few other cousins on my mum's side who uh, live down in Victoria. My dad was born in Castoria but uh, my, grandf my grandfather was born in Greece, my grandma was born in Macedonia. Uh, growing up I was babysat by my grandparents a lot and I spoke fluent Greek before I could speak fluent English. So. As soon as I hit school just that sort of all went out the window. Now I speak one or two words and that's mainly hello and goodbye. Yeah, my uncle who's Greek as well uh, sort of plays with the idea of taking me to classes and teaching me but never really got around to it. I've been on a few overseas trips with cricket to New Zealand and India but haven't actually spent uh, extended time abroad. I live with my best mate, uh, Brady Rozelle. We live up in a, an apartment slash unit on the waterfront at Sandgate. Uh, I haven't actually yet, but I'm just about to start doing some courses on real estate, and I guess it's a line of work that I can do while I'm playing as well as a career after cricket. I like to play golf, I like to play on PlayStation, I like to, I just got a new big TV, so watching Fox and movies on that is a big priority. Uh, it's definitely Call of Duty. Like, Everyone in the squad plays it. We can play online and there's a few playing games going on at the moment, I bet. Uh, I love to eat Indian. You know, going to India was an amazing experience and the food there just got me hooked. Uh, yeah, I like crime thrillers. They're probably the only couple of books that I like to read. Last year, just after I'd moved up here, I, I broke my jaw playing grade cricket and put me out for six weeks just before uh, the side was being picked to go to the under 19s World Cup. And yeah, that was a pretty good injury. I got a good scar just under here from it as well. Uh, I don't have an iPhone, my girlfriend does, and I love playing Bejeweled on it, that's all I do. My first pet was a cat, then we moved on to a bird, and then we had a dog for a while. Just had a, a bit of this, a bit of that, and I have heard, hear now my brother back in Canberra's got some chickens, but I'm not sure how mum's going with them. No, no tattoos. My mum's got one that sort of, I'm not sure if I'll get it, but she's got rosary beads around her ankle and down onto her foot. And I'm not sure why she got it, but... Well, she's actually got two tattoos. She's got a, a scroll on her ankle that's got mine and my three little brothers initials in the scroll. She got that when, when, when I went to a, a cricket carnival actually when I was about 12 uh, down in Cobram Barriga on the border of uh, New South Wales and Victoria. And then yeah, scared the crap out of dad when she got the other one and just came home and dad saw it. So.